In this video, I'll show you how to create a WooCommerce order form to streamline the shopping experience. Let's get straight into it. So for example, I'll show you how to create a streamline order form similar to this one. We can allow our customers to instantly filter for what it is they're looking for. As you can see, everything's been loaded instantly. We can quickly reset it. Let's say we wanted to see products in a particular size, right? A particular color. We can do that, right? And we can quickly add products to our basket. Let's say we wanted 24 of this particular product and maybe six of this particular product as we're inputting the quantity it's automatically ticking this product and then we can just bulk add it to our basket right and then everything's conveniently loaded in our side cart here right so we can review this we can change the quantity as well and we can also remove it from our basket and then whenever we're ready we can just hit checkout i should mention as well that we can instantly search for products so for example we can search for that t-shirt product and as you can see the filtering is happening instantly so it dramatically reduces the time it takes a customer to find a product that they want and add it to their basket and ultimately check out right so if you want to create a similar setup in your woocommerce store the first step is to head over to aovup.com go ahead and download the product table plugin i'll leave a link in the description below and with that being said let's head over to our dashboard assuming you've downloaded the aovup product table plugin the next step is to go ahead and upload that plugin so we'll go plugins add new upload and install a plugin once you've done so we'll go ahead and create our first order form so we'll navigate over to aovup and then product table all right by default it will automatically create a order form for you or you can go ahead and create one, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and edit this one here. So we'll just click edit. We can give it a name, it's just for internal purposes. So we'll say order form, right? We can automatically insert this order form on a particular page, or we can manually insert it on a page using the short code. So I'm going to manually insert it onto a page. So let's navigate over to order form information here. Now we're going to create our order form columns, right? So first we want to add the product name. Right, so we'll drag and drop it onto this active column here. Right, maybe we want to add the product image. We will go ahead and add the stock quantity so we can show them the stock level of that particular product. Again, all of this is configurable and it's up to you, right? What you want to include. Enable the SKU code and then we'll show the add to cart button here. We can even add custom columns. If we select custom data here, we can click this pencil icon and then we can choose the data source. So we can choose from post meta information or custom taxonomies and in here we can just add the key for our post meta or if it's custom taxonomy we can select the taxonomy here right okay so for this video i'm not going to add any custom columns we're just going to keep it super simple so i'm going to x this off to remove it we can rename the columns as well so for example instead of saying name we can say product and this will rename the column we can configure the width as well and we can add a extra class or more advanced styling options right so i'm just going to x this off we can configure the image size Okay, and we can rename the add to cart button as well. So a lot of these options I'm going to skip over. I'm just going to enable the necessary ones for this particular video, but you can go ahead and configure it to your liking, right? So for the add to cart button display, we're going to display the add to cart button and the checkbox, right? So this gives more convenience to the user to select the product that they actually want, right? Add to cart behavior, I'm going to enable Ajax add to cart. We're going to enable the quantities as well. For variable products, instead of linking it over to the product page, we're going to display it as a drop down so they can choose their variation directly from our order form. Okay, form control. For the most part, we're going to leave a lot of these as default. We can add filtering. So let's say, for example, we only wanted to display products from a particular category, then we can do that here, right? But I'm just going to remove all these conditions. So we're displaying all our products on this product table product filters we can go ahead and show it based on the product table columns or we can go ahead and choose custom here and then we can add some cost filtering right so for example categories tags attributes and even sale you can click this read more button for a list of all the different parameters that this field supports let's add our reset button and we can customize the form design but i'm just going to leave everything as default for now and then we'll just hit save changes so now let's head back to our general settings page and we're going to copy this short code. And now we can create a new page for our order form, right? So we'll just click add new and then page and then we can say order form and then we can just paste our widget here, right? And we can hit publish and let's view this page. 
So I should mention that the styling will be dictated by your theme design. For example, the primary color on this particular theme is this yellowy color. So this is why it's displaying like this. We can override it right? or we can actually just change our theme's default color if we didn't like this design here, right? So let's quickly do a custom design. So let's edit this quickly. Let's navigate over to form design. Let's enable custom design, right? And I'm just going to save this again. And now let's refresh this page. So now when we refresh this page here, we can see it's displaying with our custom styling, right? Okay, so now the customer can quickly browse through and choose their selection. For example, this shirt, they can say they want it in blue and they want this size and maybe they want 55 of this particular product, right? So if you can see this automatically takes this product and let's do a few more. And then essentially we can just bulk add our selection to our basket, right? So it streams on the user experience and allow your customers to find what they want faster and to be able to check out faster as well. So let's say, for example, we wanted something in shirts. As you can see, the filtering is done instantly. Same for casual. We can quickly reset the options as well. So this allows your customers to be able to check out faster and more conveniently. So a tip that I recommend is that if you're using this order form, what would work well is to add a sidecar to further enhance the user experience, right? So we can head over to AIO checkout and we can go ahead and download all in one checkout plugin. The free version is fine. So once you've done so, we can go ahead and upload it. Okay, I believe we've already got it installed on this site. So I'm just going to navigate over to AOV up and then AIO checkout. And then for mini cards, I'm going to enable this option. Let's choose the cart location. Let's put it on the right. All right, let's hit save changes. Okay, so now when we refresh this page, we can see the side cart area and a customer can just quickly keep track of what it is they're spending. And if we didn't want this in our basket, we can just quickly remove it as well, right? So let's close that off and let's say we wanted 23 of this one here we can see it's updating instantly right and then once we're finished with it we can just close it off and we can always find the icon floating wherever we set it to float right and we can customize this side cart area as well so if you didn't want it to be white if you wanted the call to action to be a different color we can go ahead and customize that also so once they're ready they can just click checkout and then just proceed to the checkout this checkout form is also powered by the all-in-one at checkout plugin so you can use this plugin to create that side cart area as well as optimizing the checkout experience for your retail customers and your wholesale customer. Another unique thing with this particular plugin as well is that you can customize the checkout based on a customer role, right? So you can show a different checkout form for your retail customers and then a different one for your wholesale customers. So you can have different promotional message, different required fields and so on.